Hi, I'm Gary from PM Quilting. This is our six inch ruler. We're gonna show you how to put it together. When you pull undo your shrink wrap, you're gonna have three parts here. First thing we're gonna do is we'll peel all the paper off. So we're gonna peel this paper off the orange guide and on the side with the paper, you're gonna see that the hole here is beveled. That hole beveled is for the screw. The screw will not fit in it 100% because then the hole will be too big and you would lose your, your bolts for this ruler. So we're gonna peel this paper away. And then we're gonna peel the paper away on the big one. And then we can assemble. And just peel all your paper off. So after you get all this paper off, Then we're going to put our ruler together for you. And it's it's static film on here. You just keep working it till you get it all peeled off. We're almost there. There we go. So now, the first thing we'll do is we'll take this out of the bag. Here's your slip stop and screws that it takes to put your ruler together. We'll pull the slip stop out which I've shown you at the show, and here's your four screws, two screws and two wing nuts. So the first thing we can do is take your ruler, take the lips and flip them over. All your numbers will be upside down. And you're gonna take your old scissors or I tear it across. We're gonna peel the paper off of our slip stop. You girls, ladies have better fingernails than I do, but we'll make this work, there we go. Now, one edge is really straight, the other edge is a little crooked. So I always put the straight edge against the ruler and we're gonna lay it down right along this edge. We're on the smooth side with no feet, if you wanna call them feet. So they're there. And then we're gonna peel the next one off. You're gonna have a little more slip stop than you need, so you're more than welcome to put it on another ruler or save it or use it for wherever you'd like. So we're gonna lay this one out with the straight edge. Flip that around, butt it right up to the other one. One finger, and then just pull it a little bit. Press it down, and I rip off what's left over just inside the edge so that it doesn't catch on any of your blades. You can put that back on the paper or put it on a ruler, whatever you like to, to do with it. Now, the pink guide or orange, depending on what color you want to call it. The, there's your screw. We're gonna put that down through the two beveled holes. The bevel hole will always be on the side with the paper. We're gonna feel the ruler. This goes down, and then you're gonna put your two screws through the hole and flip it over. Excuse me, there we go. We lift up the one end, put your wing nut on. There we go. And our ruler is almost done. Now we're gonna come down the other end and do the same thing. And you'll notice on YouTube, we already have a video of how to use this ruler, but that is all it takes to put our ruler together. Now you can adjust your guide to wherever you want it. Your two lips should be facing up, your numbers face upward, and that way you are now ready to cut fabric. On our card, it does show you a picture direction. It should look just like your picture. I also put the writing instructions on there so that the guys can look at pictures, the girls can read, and somewhere in between you guys will come together, right? And on the back side, it'll tell you how to use our ruler. We appreciate you watching our video, and you're more than welcome to watch our other video that has the six inch ruler on how to use it. You have a great day, and thanks for buying from us.